Welcome to Mighty Machinery, your portal to the colossal world of engineering giants. In today's episode, we're taking a journey back in time to the behemoths that once ruled the roads, mines, and fields of the Soviet Union. So folks, get ready to be awed and inspired as we unveil the top 10 behemoth heavy metal titans of the Soviet Union. At number 1, we have the Rostelmash RSM-1401 Combine Harvester which emerged as a real crop-cutting dynamo during the Soviet era. The company was founded in 1929 and has remained an enduring symbol of agricultural innovation and excellence ever since. The RSM-1401 is powered by a formidable Cummins diesel engine and has the muscle to tackle vast fields. With a cutting header that stretches as wide as a basketball court, it mows through crops faster than a hot knife through butter. And when it's time to party in the grain tank, this juggernaut can host a bash with a capacity of 8,000 to 10,000 liters. With big beefy agricultural tires, it grips the ground like a champion wrestler, even in the muddiest fields. The Rostelmash RSM-1401 Combine Harvester has a rich history, and it remains a trusty farm sidekick. The Kirovets Company laid the foundation for agricultural excellence during the Soviet Union. The Kirovets K700 tractor, affectionately known as the Russian Farm Dynamo, is a true powerhouse in the world of agriculture. Production of this tractor started back in 1962. This hulking monolith typically boasts a diesel heart, pumping out more horsepower than a herd of charging bulls, ensuring it can tackle a myriad of farming tasks. The K700 often features a transmission system as versatile as a chameleon at a paint store allowing you to match the speed to your needs with the precision of a watchmaker. Despite its hefty weight, it's got the moves like Jagger in those sturdy agricultural boots, thanks to its massive tires that grip the earth like a pro wrestler in a chokehold. The Kirovets K700 tractor, it's the monster of agriculture bringing muscle and versatility to every corner of the farm. Giddy up! Next, the Gomselmash Darsh Police GS575 a crop-chopping goliath of the fields means serious business when it comes to agricultural harvesting. Talking about the company, Gomselmash has been etching its history in the books since October 15, 1930. Renowned for supplying agricultural machinery during the Soviet Union, its success in the 1930s played a pivotal role in enabling the USSR to liberate itself from the need to import numerous types of machines for activities like fodder production, grain farming, flax and hemp cultivation, and the primary processing of bast crops. By 1940, an impressive 18 out of 26 Gomselmash products were contributing to the Soviet export market. Now, getting back to our behemoth, the GS-575, whose heart is of a mighty diesel engine that roars to life, ready to tackle the toughest crops. Its mighty cutting header, a variable with marble, is like a hungry giant gobbling up everything in its path six to nine meters at a time. And let's talk about that grain tank. It's like the TARDIS of agriculture, with a storage capacity of 7,000 to 9,000 liters, a real grainy wonderland. When it's time to unload, the combine doesn't disappoint. It spews out harvested grain through its unloading auger, feeding the hungry trailers or containers waiting below. With a knack for compatibility, this combination is like a transformer, attaching various headers for different crops and becoming a true harvesting hero. It's not just a machine, it's a farming legend. Emerging from the Minsk Tractor Works in Belarus in 1961, the MTS-50 Belarus Tractor stands as an uncelebrated champion of the fields, a boundless titan that has won the admiration of farmers worldwide. Weighing in at 3.5 to 4.5 metric tons, it's the Superman of tractors, ready to take on the toughest challenges. It's got a three-point hitch system for attachments and can pull heavy loads like a seasoned strongman. Whether plowing, mowing, or baling, this Belarusian bruiser gets the job done with a wink and a smile. At number five, we have the Kamas Dump Truck K5. The Kamas company founded in 1969 has been a key player in the world of heavy-duty vehicles. So the Kamas Dump Truck K5 is not an old station wagon, that's for sure. Beneath the bonnet, it has a diesel engine that's like a rhinoceros, packing anywhere from 300 to 600 plus horsepower, ready to tackle the heaviest loads with ease. This overlord can carry a whopping 20 to 60 tons of material. 
With multiple axles like a pro gymnast, it waltzes through weight distribution and keeps things as stable as a balanced diet. And finally, the dump body is made of steel, the kind that laughs in the face of tough loads. It's like the superstar suit for your truck. As we journey through the colossal machines of the Soviet Union, don't miss out on the incredible marvels still to come. Hit that subscribe button, join our crew, and let's keep the Soviet steel giants roaring on your screen. Presenting the DT-54 tractor, which is a workhorse of the fields. This Soviet tractor rolled off the assembly lines in 1949 and ceased production in 1961. It boasts a trusty diesel engine, ensuring that the power you need is backed by fuel efficiency, saving you a penny or two. With its mechanical transmission system, you'll dance through the gears with multiple forward and reverse options, making it the Fred Astaire of farming machinery. For the power-hungry farmer, the Power Takeoff or PTO system empowers you to hook up various implements, from plows to mowers, transforming this tractor into a Swiss Army knife of the fields. The three-point hitch system makes attaching rear-mounted equipment a breeze, and its significant drawbar pull can tackle even the heaviest of farm tasks. The DT-54 tractor, where power, versatility, and a touch of tractor swagger unite. The year 1975 witnessed the emergence of the inaugural bulldozer T-330 at the Chepoxary plant, swiftly cementing its status as a trusted companion in the Soviet Union's most challenging and arduous endeavors. With its 75 to 120 horsepower diesel engine, the T-330 revs like a roaring bear, ready to conquer heavy-duty earth-moving tasks. Just like a skilled dancer, it boasts a robust three-point hitch for seamless control of attachments, ensuring steadiness even during the most challenging tasks. Fueling its epic workdays, its tank rivals your neighbor's gossip collection in size, guaranteeing you won't run dry during those extended shifts. Whether it's plows, harrows, or cedars, this bulldozer is designed to take on any job you throw its way. The CHZPT T330, an unrivaled MVP of construction sites. Hold on to your fur hats because the Ural Truck 4320 is the Russian beast you've been waiting for. This truck was produced at the Ural Automotive Plant starting in 1976. It made its debut as a workhorse across most of the Soviet industries. Powered by a Yams 236 NE2 V6 diesel engine with a displacement of 7.15 liters, it's like having a 230 horsepower bear under the hood, ready to tackle the toughest terrains. Shifting gears is as manual as reading a map, with five forward and one reverse gear to choose from. You're in control. Carrying heavy loads is a walk in the snowy Siberian park for this truck, with a payload capacity ranging from 6 to 10 tons. It's the hauler's dream. When it comes to off-road, it's a Siberian Husky on wheels. Mud, snow, rough roads, it laughs in the face of challenging terrains. With a 6x6 drive configuration, it's got traction for days, making it as versatile as a Matryoshka doll collection. The Ural 4320 comes in more flavors than a Russian tea house, with cargo trucks, troop carriers, and specialized versions for any task. Curb weight varies, but it's typically 10 to 12 tons, heavier than a borscht vest. The fuel tank is a big vodka barrel, ensuring long-distance operations without a hitch. This truck is just the right choice. At number 9, the DET250M Bulldozer is a massive metal titan. It's got a diesel engine that's not just powerful, it's practically flexing with torque, ranging from 150 to a whopping 350 horsepower. It's like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of bulldozers, ready to lift and push earth like it's nobody's business. And speaking of pushing, that blade is no slouch either. Measuring a colossal 10 to 15 feet in width, it's like a giant spatula ready to level the playing field. In terms of weight, it ranges from a mere 20 tons to a hefty 50 tons. You wouldn't want to challenge it in a weightlifting competition. And finally, when it comes to its track design, you can have it sealed and lubricated because even bulldozers like to keep their joints in good shape. Lastly, the Gaz 53, a classic Soviet gem born from the Gorky automobile plant, is more than just a truck. It was produced between 1961 and 1967. This mammoth is the symbol of an era when reliability and simplicity ruled the world. Powered by gasoline engines that varied with versions, it rolled through history with grace. 
With a payload capacity ranging from 4 to 5 metric tons, it carried dreams, materials, and loads of nostalgia. The Gauss 53's cargo bed, whether wood or metal, was its trusty companion, carrying the weight of industries and aspirations. Reliable and easy to maintain, the Gauss 53 remained a nostalgic reminder of a time when life's journey was an open road. And there you have it, the monumental marvels of Soviet industry. If you found these Soviet giants as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned to Mighty Machinery for more enthralling episodes that explore the world of engineering marvels. Join our community of machinery enthusiasts, because here, we believe that size does matter. Subscribe now and let's keep those gears turning.